Hello, this is Varun from Technical Marketing Engineering team. This video covers an overview of Dell EMC PowerProtect DD6400. Dell EMC PowerProtect DD6400 is a cost-effective appliance for entry and mid-market customers. This appliance is built on PowerEdge 14G 740XT server. DD6400 uses protection pool concepts which gives more benefits than the other PowerProtect DD model concepts. Protection pool is a next-gen DD RAID solution which will provide DDVE based appliance level of DIA similar to that of DDRs. Protection pool divides this into small chunks called physical extents. Arrays are no longer fixed to size of the file system partition. Arrays are a collection of PEs organized in rows. In an array, we can have up to 20 extend rows. Each extend row is a RAID 6 failure domain and can have up to 2 failed PE per row. An extend row cannot have 2 PEs on the same physical disk. Active tier and cloud tier data can share a same disk, removing requirement of having separate disk for cloud tier. DD6400 has a simplified workflow for a system configuration and file system creation or expansion. In this video, we are not going to cover about the system configuration or file system creation. After successful creation of file system, the storage pen under hardware shows the overall picture. Active tier capacity is shown as 156 TBU and the unlicensed capacity is slightly more than 1 TBU. Cloud tier metadata is allocated local capacity for storing information about data that has been moved to cloud. Base model comes with only head unit and the capacity varies from 8 to 32 TBU with incrementals of 4 TBU. This system is fully loaded which has head unit and two ES40 shelves. The capacity range starts from 40 to 104 TBU after adding expansion self 1 and it varies from 112 to 172 TBU after adding expansion self 2. Let's navigate to chassis to see more about disk and network cards that are all supported in this model. Under head unit in the front view, we can see it has 12 days. The first two SSDs are for DDoS and the next two disks are for system cache. The first will be available on the base model and the second will get added when first expansion self is added. All the remaining disks are data disks and the capacity varies from 8 to 32 TBU. From the networking point of view, DD6400 has four Ethernet slots, out of which only RNDC is required. The other three slots are optional and can be any combination of four port 10 GBE base T, 4 port 10 GBE SFE plus or 2 port 10 or 25 GB card. DD6400 also has an optional fiber channel card as well. This can be 2 port 16 GB FC. This model also has hardware compression card which is not available in other entry models like DD3300 and DD6300. For more information about this model, please refer the admin guide.
Thank you.